What's going on, assassins? A lot of people have been asking me, how long do I think it will take to get every single item in the Helix store via Retta? Well, I've got some bad news, and I've got some worse news. I actually did all the math on this, and it's really, really not good, and just shows the predatory nature and business practices that Ubisoft is using. I'll explain this to you. I'm Dark Shadow, the YouTube Assassin. Let's get into this BS. Trust me, it's BS. So first of all, I know that this is going to get a lot of dislikes from all of Ubisoft's nut writers. I'm not mad. I'm expecting it. Going beyond that, the problem is with the Helix store, Opal in general. Okay? We are not getting enough Opal. Now, if you do the community challenges, the personal challenges, that'll get you 30 Opal for the week. If you do the dailies and the weekly the weekly quest will give you 20 opal and the dailies will give you 70 opal 10 opal for each day all right so that's going to bring you to a grand total of 120 opal per week and most of the items as you see are only 120 opal per week which is terrible all right that's not including mounts that's not including anything else what we're going to do is we're going to do the math with just the items that you see in the Helix store, okay? So, in order to do this math, what we're going to do is first, I know that we have a bunch of different packs, and the packs usually include five armor pieces, a weapon, a shield, and sometimes a, a mount, a raven skin, They'll include, you know, ship parts in some cases. We're not going to go for all that. For our thing, what we're going to do is we are going to use just an armor set, which includes a helmet, shoulder item, the chest item, the hand item, and the foot item. So five parts, okay? And we know that there's a bunch of new packs, a bunch of new outfits and skins and whatnot but what we're going to do for our example we're only going to use 13. now you take 13 you multiply that by the five items that means that you've got 65 items for the 13 sets of just armor okay now you take that and i know that some parts are 100 some parts are 120 we're going to go with just 100 to make these numbers really work, to make them easy, okay? So if you have 65 items, and they each require only 100 opal in order to make that purchase, okay? That means that you need 6,500 opal in order to get every single armor item, all right? Now... How long will it take you to get 6,500 pieces of opal and you're only making 120 opal per week? That means that you need 55 weeks in order to get enough opal to get everything that you need, okay? That is over a year. There are 52 weeks in a year. So you're going to need three extra weeks. All right, the exact number was 54.1666667. All right, I rounded it up to 55 for obvious reasons. Now, 120 opal per week, that's how long it's going to take you in order to get all the opal you need in order to get all those items. Now, just think of that. You're using that much time to get just the five pieces of armor. No, that's why Ubisoft is having you go for this best value, this $50, in order to get all this gear. This gear, these items, is expensive. That example did not even include a weapon or a freaking shield. It didn't include any of the mounts or the raven skins. So now, multiply that by two. Let's say that 
you know, in the next coming year or whatever, in the next couple of months, they actually add another 13 uh, outfits and stuff like that. Again, we're not counting any of the other stuff. It'll take you over two years to collect all the items. Okay, if they double that, and you know they're going to continue to do this. Ubisoft is going to continue to put these items in there. They're not going to continue to make the game better or easier or a lot more fun. Well, they will make it a little more fun because they are planning to do like a year two, but that's another season pass. All right? This is not even including the bells and whistles and everything else that they're going to be putting into this game. Other outfits that they'll just drop. I mean... The positive side is that you will not need that. But just think of that. If you wanted all that stuff, it would take you a year to get 13 sets. Now, what did we not include in that? We did not include that Retta will have all that stuff available. That puts another dent in this whole thing. He's not going to have it all immediately available. It's going to be here and there. So it'll take you way longer to accumulate all this stuff without making actual real money purchases. And that's completely not fair. That is really predatory. It's really amazing that they would go that route. Now, add on to this the fact that we have no way of basically gambling. There were, in past games, ways to kind of gamble the possibility of gaining a legendary item. In Assassin's Creed Origins, you would go to Retta and you would give him 3,000 drachma. He would give you a Hecachess. There was a chance that you would get either an epic item or a legendary item. And in that game, legendaries were way better to get than epics. They were more damage or more defense, and they did a lot more. In Assassin's Creed Odyssey, you were able to use an Olympic gift. You could go and trade 20 of the ore for an Olympic gift and a possibility of obtaining an epic or a legendary. And in all honesty, that's what I did. I never actually bought anything. I actually traded all kinds of ore for the Olympian gifts so that, that way I could get my legendaries. Now, the legendaries really weren't that important in Odyssey, but I did like to get them in order to get the engravings to make certain builds and even see what kind of builds I could make with them. So that's why I wanted those engravings. That's why I wanted the legendaries. I got all the legendaries. took me like eight or nine months to obtain everything in the game. The game wasn't even dead yet. So now, here we are in Valhalla, there is no gambling system. You can only wait till Retta has an item. You can save your Opal, hoping that, you know, whatever items that he's got, you don't need. Or, you know, if you're going for a specific set, pray that the next week he's got that set. Or he has another item in that set. A lot of people have noticed a pattern where he'll have two or three items in a single set, and then he'll stop. The very next week, he'll start up a whole new set. So Ubisoft is really, really jerking us around. They really do not want you to get ahead, basically. They don't want you to do what, they've, what we've done in the past games. They want you to spend your money. And again, that's not right. I already did the math prior with buying all the sets at the time. To buy all the sets, the armors, and everything like that, you would need about $200 worth of Helix credits. So you're turning a $60 game, not even including anything else like the Season Pass or any DLCs. If you're including that, this game became $300 and you don't even have a special edition. You don't even have the Questioning Your Life Choices edition. What is that? That is insane. It's absolutely insane. And again very predatory practices but anyway i want to hear from you guys what do you guys do do you guys not mind spending the money i mean in some cases some people will argue that if you do spend the money that you're part of the problem you're actually allowing them to continually do this like it, it makes them feel like it's okay the guys are going to pay the players are going to play the community is going to pay but you know, I, I don't care. It's not my money. It's your money. I'm not going to pay for it. But, you know, to each their own. 
No one could tell you how to play your game or how to enjoy it. But I still want to know, are you okay with that? Are you okay with spending the money? Or do you just save your Opal? How do you feel about the fact that if you could do it in Opal and every single week Red had an item you didn't have and it only cost 100 Opal, that it would take you over a year to acquire everything? How does that strike you? Do you think you'll ever complete a set? Do you think you'll ever cave and actually make a purchase? Anyway, this is what I wanted to discuss today. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Other than that, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe. It helps this channel out an awful lot. Make sure that you never miss a video. And of course, we are yeeted. Other than that, I want you all to take care, be safe, take care of each other, be good, and I'll see you guys all in the next one.